Welcome back. Now, the 90s stood out for those uh, iconic taglines, those catchy jingles. You remember the chorus that exulted Hamara Bajaj? Then there was that little girl who rather cutely said, I love you, Rasna. Of course, there was the La 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 Liral ad. Cadbury's Kya Swad Hai, Zindagi Mein Campaign. And of course, uh, Pepsi's Yehi Hai, Right Choice Baby. But up there, of course, with all of these, there was this one as well. Take a look. <laughs> That ad came out some 20 years ago. It was catchy and, of course, the company decided to stick to it uh, for many years to come. It took on different avatars, of course, but it changed dramatically in the year 2011. Merulak decided to get uh, star power on board. We had uh, seen none other than King Khan Shah Rukh do his trick. Of course, when uh, Shah Rukh uh, took center stage, that jingle, the famous jingle, took a back seat. But now, after all these years, they've decided to bring back their star jingle after all. In this year's Diwali campaign, Anuj Jain is Director of Decorative Paints at Kinsa and Nerulak Paints. He's joining us today on the show. Anuj, uh, great to have you with us. Tell us what made you guys decide to uh, get back that jingle now. So this is uh, the property which uh, we have built over a period of years. And I think it's one of the most memorable thing. And whenever we talk to the consumer, I think they love it. Um, in the past, uh, we have been focusing on the product campaigns. And therefore, the need was to talk about the product features. And though the jingle has been there in all the campaigns, but at a signature tune. And therefore, you know, it does not get captured completely. But this time, you know, we had a different thought. Uh, we are combining the, uh, the rational campaigns or the product campaigns along with the corporate campaign. And this campaign is around festival. And festival is all about energy, enthusiasm, celebration. And I think jingle goes uh, completely with that. And that's why we thought that with the corporate campaign, around the festival theme. Let's bring the jingle back. Also, this time, the festive season, Anuj, has had its uh, rush of energy. It's a remarkable shift from what we've seen last year. If you can walk us through your festive campaign this time. Uh, for paint, there is a, some trigger which is needed. And, uh, you know, uh, we thought that festivals are the best triggers, you know, because that's the time when people want to celebrate. They enjoy with their families. Uh, and they, you know, get into a practice of giving gifts. So what we thought is that uh, during Diwali, if you want to, or during Durga Puja or any festival, if you want to celebrate, I think the best thing is that you need to give some gift to your home and make it so good, transform it so that, you know, entire family enjoy. And uh, the best gift for the home is paint. So it's a combined activity. So it's, I think, the uniqueness uh, about uh, this festival is a combination of emotional connect through the uh, festival and this uh, jingle campaign clubbed with uh, the impression and Excel where we are talking about the rational benefits. And then there are a lot of uh, below the line activities, the digital activities along with that. Uh, a couple of years ago, Anuj, in 2013, I remember you launched an app uh, which gives people a virtual demo of what their house would look like if they used Nerulac. So uh, the kind of response you've received uh, so far on this, uh, what has it been like? The response is good, you know, because generally in the digital area, as I said, that uh, as of now, or, you know, uh, though there is a growth which is happening, but... Uh, uh, the if you compare with the other categories like fashion or apparels, I think the excess in the paint category is still low. But I think it's slowly picking up. Uh, the app is getting good downloads. And basic idea is that uh, because the paint earlier suppo was supposed to be a category where the consumer involvement is low, but with the time the engagement or the, you know, the, the involvement is going up. So I think these activities will help. But I think it's uh, before it becomes mass or we say that we are seeing a significant contribution of that, it will still take time. All right, then let's talk about your ad spends, uh, how they're looking uh, right now in the coming months. And of course, uh, what kind of marketing mix are you opting for as well? Spends, uh, uh, if you look at our, uh, you know, last year uh, in totality, marketing expenditure was about 140. And uh, I think uh, uh, over a period of time, uh, there is a little difference in the sense that five years or ten years back, most of the expenditure used to take place during festival time. Fortunately, today the situation is different. It is quite uh, well spread. So, though the festival is a good time, but I think other than festival, also the painting continues. So, it's quite equally divided nowadays. Of course, we were just talking about your age-old jingle at the outset of this chat and how it took a backseat when you uh, signed on Shah Rukh Khan in 2011. How has uh, Shah Rukh Khan as a brand added to the brand's appeal, you think? USP 
If you see, uh, Naralek today stands for Healthy Home Paints. Uh, so we were pioneers in terms of uh, making paint uh, safe, healthier. So that is certainly a USP uh, which we are enjoying. And uh, Shah Rukh Khan uh, definitely helps, you know, because it is a superstar. Uh, he has a, uh, you know, acceptability across uh, the genres, across the age groups. And uh, it definitely helps a brand, you know, because when in decorative we are trying to expand in the different geographies. So it helps, you know, because Shah Rukh Khan uh, is able to get the attraction, is able to catch the eyeballs. To that extent, it helps. And now we are using, you know, we are working with him for almost five years. So a good association is getting built up. And among all the campaigns you've had for Nerula Kanuj, uh, perhaps uh, you can take us back in time as well. Where do you think you've tasted maximum success? Uh, do you see campaigns like uh, like Paint the Change, etc., coming back uh, like your jingle has? Yeah, so jingle is the uh, you know, campaign because whenever we come up with the jingle, we see a different energies. Uh, otherwise, you know, even impression campaigns, uh, uh, we had a Shalini Chopra campaign earlier and now the high definition campaign. It's working well. It's giving a benefit uh, to the brand, to the business. But Jingle is definitely most energetic. Is something uh, when we come up with, uh, you know, immediately we get the good feedback from the consumer and, and the market. All right, Anuj, that's where we're leaving it. Thank you so much for joining us with all that perspective and good luck going ahead as well. Thank you. Now, while we have the many jingles, the many faces of the ads of the 90s that have stood the test of time, really, today we find uh, that brands switch campaigns, logos, taglines, all those endorsers, ever so rapidly. It leaves you in a tizzy, really. Take Tata Sky, for example. After Amir Khan in 2008, they moved to regional stars like Asin and Mohanlal. And now they've got Dhanush and Bollywood queen uh, Kangana Ranaut on board for their new Missed Call campaign. In fact, uh, Kangana is what they call the ambassador for the West region. And her role is now to educate and spread awareness about the ongoing third phase of digitization in the country. That's the line the company is taking. And Kangana is with us on the show this time. Uh, it's great to have you with us, Kangana. You know, this ad uh, that you're doing for Tata Sky, tell us about it. It's a, it's a thumbs up really to uh, digitization, isn't it? Uh, this ad film uh, has many parts where uh, a girl who's talking about using uh, Tata Sky and affordable packages, high quality. It's a very nice storyline and what, uh, what really attracted me so much to this campaign is uh, very innovative and creative ideas of uh, you know, introducing the new packages and um, new schemes and uh, customized TV viewing. So that was very exciting. In your understanding, Kangna, how do you think uh, the industry benefits uh, with all this digitization that's taking place? We are in the third phase now. Industry, I think in India, we are still, you know, uh, we have those cities and small towns, like the town that I come from, Himachal Pradesh, you know, where... Uh, you know, in rural areas and interiors, uh, cable TV and that kind of TV viewing is not possible. There, for them to have uh, high quality TV viewing and uh, access to all the channels, uh, for, for them, digitization is so important and it'll make their TV viewing experience uh, amazing. Of course, uh, we've spoken about this in the past as well, but uh, it never hurts to ask again. Uh... What is the criteria that you look at when you accept a proposal to endorse a brand? Endorsement, um, I, I endorse a brand which I myself use. I make sure that I uh, identify with it and it's, it's something which is genuine and which uh, contributes to everyone's life. And uh, I think more than that, I really don't have an understanding of um, you know, this market, but in whatever little understanding that I have, I try and see uh, these things. And do you feel that one celebrity endorsing too many brands can actually confuse the consumer and also dilute the message of a brand at times? Mm, uh, I don't know, maybe, and especially if the ad films uh, look similar. So it's very important that one comes up with uh, different and exciting and innovative ideas. And um, I mean, why many brands? It could just be few brands, but if the, 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 the ad film is not exciting enough, you'll just, you know, log out and go on to the other channel. Uh, so you have to hold on to their attention and it's not easy. There's no shorter route to that. You have to make something which is very creative and which holds. Also, there is a thought out there that there are too many women. Uh, they're being overused by the advertising industry to endorse uh, 
all kinds of products which probably do not even require a female face. Uh, where do you stand on this? From a uh, consumer point of view, I feel women anywhere are running the world, you know, so there are so many products that they use inside the house, outside the house and, you know, everything, they, they use everything. So if you use women and it works and it sells, uh, why not?